Social cognitive theory is a theory that explains how people learn by observing others, interacting with their environment and experiencing the consequences of their actions. It suggests that learning happens not only through direct experience, but also by watching the behaviours and outcomes of others, known as observational learning. This theory highlights the importance of both individual thoughts and social interactions in shaping behaviours. The theory was developed by psychologist Albert Bandura in the 1960s. It originally grew out of earlier behaviourist theories that focused on how people learn through reinforcement and punishment. However, Bandura believed that this view was too limited, as it ignored the role of thinking and social interactions in learning. His famous Bobo doll experiment showed that children could learn aggressive behaviour just by watching others, without directly experiencing any consequences. This led him to propose that observation, imitation and modelling were key aspects of how people learn, which became the foundation for social cognitive theory. Social cognitive theory focuses on the idea that behaviour is influenced by three factors. Personal factors, like thoughts and beliefs, environmental factors, such as surroundings and other people, and behaviour itself. These three factors interact in a process called reciprocal determinism, where each one affects the others. For example, a person might have a belief about their ability to succeed, personal factor, which influences how they act, behaviour. And this in turn could change how others respond to them, environment. One common example of social cognitive theory is learning by imitation. If a student sees a classmate praised for participating in class, they might be more likely to participate themselves. In sports, athletes often watch videos of other players to learn new skills. Observing someone else's success or failure can lead to a change in behaviour, even if the person hasn't personally experienced the same situation. A strength of social cognitive theory is that it takes into account the influence of social interactions and environment on learning, unlike theories that focus only on internal thoughts or direct experience. Social cognitive theory recognises that people can learn by observing others. This makes it more flexible and realistic, as it applies to a wide range of situations, including schools, workplaces and homes. However, social cognitive theory has some weaknesses. One criticism is that it might underestimate the role of biological factors in behaviour. For example, it doesn't always account for how genetics or brain chemistry might influence how a person learns or behaves. Another criticism is that it can be hard to measure the interactions between personal, behavioural and environmental factors, making it difficult to predict behaviour in certain situations. A related educational theory is Vygotsky's sociocultural theory. To learn about Vygotsky, watch this video now.